Okay. <laughs> We've got a lot to get through. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel and today we are doing a pretty huge haul because I got a whole table full of makeup right next to me so today I'm going to be doing a Sephora haul with you guys my parents came back today from Europe they went to Europe for a month and obviously all over Europe there are Sephora's everywhere and we got a lot of stuff so today I'm going to be sharing with you a huge haul on all of the makeup I've got eyeshadow foundation highlighters setting sprays eyeliners like that there's a lot here without further ado let's jump straight into this video because I have a feeling it's gonna be a long one <laughs> let's just start with all of the naked uh, urban decay shadows so we got uh, a few eyeshadows first we have the naked urban decay urban decay naked heat palette we got this one Jeez, they really pack. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. So that is the first palette. And then we also got our hands on the Naked Cherry palette, which is more of the berry toned berry tones. Then next, I know that the Naked... Oh, light. There we go. Okay, so I know that the Naked Urban Decay Naked 1 palette, they're discontinuing it for like Ever. so that's another one that we picked up and this I guess it's a collectible now because they're discontinuing it completely and the two other naked palettes is naked two and three so those are the first few palettes that we got from Sephora next up is the urban decay back talk eye and face palette this is actually really cute um, I'm come closer. so yeah this one is actually really cute it's got your face palette over there and then your eye palette over there so it's like it's a good travel travel thing and i just want to see this highlighter i need to see this highlighter Ooh, pretty the next urban decay palette is that i'm really excited about this one because this has been talked about so much when it came out and apparently it's such a versatile palette to use and that is the urban decay born to run i am obsessed with this packaging it is so pretty and like it's unique you know and it's nice and heavy actually hmm. okay so it looks like that i'm excited to use those palettes then another product from urban decay that i picked up was the urban decay all night pollution protection spray environmental defense makeup setting spray so, oh it's got like a double cap Ding, ding. I don't know. So there's the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. Uh, looks like that. And I really like the bottle of this. It just looks so pretty. So we got the All Nighter Urban Decay. And we got it in the color shade 6. We also got the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm excited to try this out because I haven't had like a really good eye primer. So I'm excited to see if it actually makes a difference. Then we got two eyeliners. Um, two eyeliners, yeah. The Kat Von D Ink Waterproof Liner and the Charlotte Tilbury Feline Flick. Now I'm going to move on to Fenty. Okay, so I picked, uh, I got the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation as well as the Primer. And I'm actually wearing this foundation today and usually I always have a problem where foundation the foundation looks nice on my cheeks but when I go to my forehead because my skin tone my cat just chilling out looking at cars <laughs> but because my skin tone is a bit uneven on my forehead you can always see like the flakiness and my skin's also very dry later lately but this foundation i feel like it adapts to your skin tone it just it goes on so smoothly and so nicely and the primer is so moisturizing it really feels like it feels like a day cream on your face the thing i got is the fenty beauty kilowatt foil the packaging is really cute Ta -da! so pretty and those colors are so bright like look at that as a little gift from sephora we got the fancy beauty mademoiselle plush 
matte lipstick and this is in the color candy venom and the packaging of her lipsticks are just so cute and feminine and this is so cute and small and it's so tiny one more thing from fancy is the matchstick in the color truffle this is obviously for contouring i'd like to see how much product you actually get in this huh that much but i'm sure it goes a long way like you don't need a lot and it goes a long way because oh yeah you don't need a lot of this next up we have let's go to i got the Too faced born this way super coverage multi sculpting concealer in two colors we got warm beige and natural beige and you get a lot of product in this so this is actually gonna last like a lifetime also i got an orchid guys and i'm trying to see how long i can keep it alive for but this is my new baby it's so pretty and I want to name it, but I really can't think of a name. So if you guys can think of a name for my orchid, leave it down below. Another palette from Too Faced and oh, is the Chocolate Gold palette. I looked at a lot of their palettes and I like them, but it wasn't like a I need them. But when I saw all of the shimmers in this Chocolate Gold palette, you just it's a must have. So that is. Okay, so this here, I did swatch some of them when I got them. Let's just look at chocolate gold and dripping diamonds. And let's do a bright. And new money. Look at those colors. Swatching, but. Okay, ColourPop. I ordered a few things from ColourPop. And I got the give it to me straight palette maybe because it's so travel friendly It's light and the colors are my like everyday colors. So I got the give it to me straight palette. You can see the ring light on there, but And it looks like that the pants are quite small, but it's travel friendly and uh, The pigmentation is really good. I think it's gonna go a really long way. All right, then also from Colourpop I got um Three Super Shock Cheeks, which is basically the highlighters. I got the colors Hippo, Felicity, and Smoke and Smoke and Whistles. Unfortunately, uh, two of them did break like when they were getting delivered because I ordered these from the US and then from the US they got brought to Europe. So they've, they've been through some good traveling. <laughs> and then also I got a... Uh, super shock shadow in the color liberty which is like a very vibrant bright um oh my focus 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 my focus is going up there we go which is like a very bright bright um <laughs> my neighbor she always catches me <laughs> filming like every time she sees me i'm always filming and talking to the camera and she probably waves at me like this woman is crazy anyway so i got it in felicity and it's a very bright silver and you can see that i have to swatch this though because i was shocked at this pigmentation for how much was this eight dollars i think six dollars it was six dollars i think that is it swatched you guys it looks like foil then next up the last thing i got from colors 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 color pop is the new idea lippy stick collection the packaging is really cute it comes in like a book so i'm just gonna take that up so it comes in like a book and then you open it up and the lipsticks are all there we got some liquid lipsticks from sephora and oh, i'm just gonna hold them like this so you can see uh, picked up some liquid lipsticks from Sephora. I'm not going to swatch all of them. Next, I'm going to move on to Huda. And these are the products from Huda that I've wanted for a long time. And first up is the Huda Desert Dusk Palette. This is just... Ooh, this is our Huda... The Huda Desert Dusk. And it's got the mirror and the... Oof, let me just... <laughs> there we go. Eyes and there we go. This is just... Oof. Another product from Huda Beauty is the 3D Highlighter Palette in the Golden Sands Edition. In the Golden Sands Edition, and it looks like that. Look at that. That glow, though. As my cousin Simi would say, that glow. Anyway, <laughs> so that is the palette. 
And I believe that the Fiji is a cream. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, shit. And also got our hands on the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. So yeah, there's three foundations here. Um, I thought this bottle was going to be a lot bigger. <laughs> But when I swatched it, you I think that you literally need like two dots to cover your entire face because it is so high coverage. Anyway, I'm the color Butter Pecan. What I do is when my mom goes overseas and buys these products, I get her to match the foundation to her skin color. Because usually we share the same foundation color. And then last but not least from Huda is the Overachiever Concealer. And then last but certainly not least, I ordered a few stuff from Morphe. First two things I got from Morphe was brushes. What I really, really wanted is the under eye bullet and the foundation buffing brush. Sorry, this is very loud. Okay, so what I really wanted was the under eye bullet. This is for concealer and the foundation buffing brush. And it is so soft. Uh, then I also got the Morphe 15H Happy Hour Eyeshadow Palette and this palette actually came out much heavier than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be pretty light. Like the cardboard, the old cardboard packaging. Uh, like the Jaclyn Hill packaging. I thought it was going to be like that. But no. This is a really nice winter palette. I actually did not take note of how warm these colors were when I ordered them. Uh, the very last palette that I want to show you guys that I got from Morphe is one that I've been after for a long time. Um, they released it and it was a limited edition and obviously no one was overseas then so I couldn't get my hands on it. And then I saw that they were bringing it back and they said for a limited time only but then a month later it was still on their store. So I ordered it and that is the Morphe 39A Dare to Create palette. It is huge. And this, I think, is my favorite one out of all of them. Okay, so obviously there is the transition colors on this side. And then there's a color story. Uh, I think these eight is your warm brown tones. And then these ones over here are your berry tones. And then you have greens and then blues. And I think I just dug my nail into that. Oops. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorite palettes that I ordered. And one of the one that I was the most excited about. Because I've been after this for a long time. But I have no idea when I'm going to keep all of this. But we will find out. <laughs> anyway, so that is all of the makeup that was picked up at Sephora and Morphe and ordered from Colourpop site. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload. Obviously don't forget to follow my social medias which I'll pop up like which I'll pop up on the sides here and yep have an awesome week guys I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios!